Hello everybody, welcome to this lesson. We just want to convert this menu into a vertical menu. So let's just go to this menu here and just try to add more elements to the wrapper. So if I go to this menu and try to duplicate uh, these elements. So just going to go here and duplicate them. So notice the size has changed because uh, if you go to the wrapper here, we put the anchor uh, to the border. So I can come here and choose to the left uh, top corner, the anchors to lift top corner. I'll also set the pivot to the same uh, way. All right, and also you need to because we we need to preserve a certain size. So I can come here and just increase the size to be something like this. I need the size to be something like this. And also, I need to move the wrapper width or expand the width to be something like this. All right. So we can play with spacing, spacing and padding here. So we can give it padding lift of, let's say, three or let's say five. And right, let's get one, top three and bottom two and just give a spacing of two between the elements so we got this uh, menu here we need to make this menu to be scrollable so let's just go for example to button 10 here and change its text to be something like text button 10 and click enter so yeah just to distinguish the items here in the menu all right, so you can see here we got uh, uh, the wrapper. We can see upper lift. You can put upper center to the elements, but I do recommend to make it upper lift. We're just going to see how to uh, make this element to be responsive, but not in this way. I just want to show you another trick about canvas, uh, which is if you put these items, this anchor to the top of their parent. So if you come here, and you move the anchors in this way so once you do this we're just going to be able to resize the width to resize uh, only the width but not the height so if you take these anchors and put them here this way you're gonna only play with with the height not the width all right so this is another trick here you can put these items to be something like that if you if you don't want to play with the width so I can't put them the anchor of the object just double click on the wrapper to get it's anchored and you can click out the keyboard in order to move here and take the anchor and put them somewhere here okay at the border of their uh, you know their menu here and this side the border the border of the menu okay so right now you can see I'm playing with with the width here so this is too small just try to put it here all right it's out I'm sorry out to the <laughs> keyboard okay something like that and just go here to make these items within the menu so right now you can see it's responsive and it is within the menu. So whatever you scroll, we just keep the same width, but we change the height according to the screen size and which is a great feature and responsive. Yeah, this is another trick about anchors. When you put uh, the anchor to, uh, you know, to the both of the, of the sides at the top or both the side of the side, you, uh, you just minimize the height of the element so once you put them at the top uh, 
you know the both of the anchors here at the top this is gonna change the the height of the element but not the width so it's just gonna be uh, responsive in case of width but not height so we need this for the case of menu all right so um, I'm just gonna uh, go to the wrapper here you can see we got vertical layout we got the menu so I need to make uh, this menu scrollable so it, the easiest way is just by adding something called scroll rect and we need to make this uh, scroll rect as you can see with the default uh, configuration we need to make it elastic and here uh, we need to set all this information the desolation rate the scroll sensitivity to be one this is the default configuration and they are really good at the mobile device so there is no need to mess around with them so right now if you click play uh, you're gonna see that uh, we have um, we have here a, a menu but it's not working because you have to come to the scroll rect and add the wrapper to it so right now if you click play it's it's gonna work because we have to add the wrapper as a content for the scroll rect all right so right now you can see it's working you can it's working horizontally and vertically you can turn off horizontally because this is only a vertical menu but notes here uh, the items uh, if you notice yeah it's very it's a menu but the menu are moving uh, all around the screen not within the there is some sort of uh, anchoring here but the menu moving all around the screen so that that's why we need to have to add something called mask so if you come here and add something called mask to the menu you can see we cut uh, the the outside uh, we just we have some overflow for this element so we just make this overflow as hidden so right now if you click play you're gonna see uh, we have a mask attached to the menu so whatever you do you're not gonna go outside the mask and this is really good and really awesome and you can see here if you scroll to the top you can see the button but I need to turn off uh, the vertical uh, option from here so that's why I, I'm sorry <laughs> I need to turn uh, the difference between uh, the vertical slider and horizontal is this so here I need to turn off horizontal so I can scroll to the top to the bottom as you can see here easily without any trouble and this is really awesome so all the time make sure to apply this outside of play mode as you can see here in order to just apply this configuration all right so uh, other thing uh, I just want to mention here is yeah when you're talking about scroll rect uh, we have to add mask and here's the wrapper and we just showed you how to make it uh, responsive for all the screens so right now whatever change you make uh, we have some sort of uh, you know responsiveness as you can see here so this is really awesome all right, so this is pretty much, guys, about this lesson. The next lesson, we're just going to show you more about animation and how to do all that. Thank you guys again for watching. See you next lesson.